What is up, YouTube? How's everybody doing? Great, I hope. Well, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I hope everybody's looking forward to the new giveaway of a one old timer 156 OT little finger. Uh, details about that be at the end of the video. If you're new to my channel, do me a favor, stab that like button, share, subscribe. It means the world to me, but it only takes a second of your time, and I appreciate it. Well, so I was scrolling through Amazon actually a while back. I've had this for a, quite a while, never done a video about it, um, but they still have it. And when I saw it, it, it gave me CRKT CEO vibes. You know what I mean? Like little a little gentleman's uh, pocket knife, slim, uh, not very intrusive, kind of blends in with everything but the CEO great little pocket knife liner lock thumb stud opening um, I wish it, I don't know it it's a little hard to hold sometimes trying to open because it's so thin but you know that's the appeal to it also so it gave me these vibes right so this is the Karami Slim Folding Knife, proudly made in China. <laughs> proudly made in China. By the way, this knife will be up for uh, giveaway, but it's it'll be a special giveaway. So this is the Karami slim folding pocket knife it comes in this little sheath uh you know I, I don't know what you do with that i guess you can carry it like a purse or something i don't know can't really snap it onto anything but anyway uh it's got these pretty wood scales to them you know um, it's not quite as pretty as the CEO is, but you know, it's got its appeal. Now these run about $8, so they're not very expensive, but this one's a flipper to where the CEO has the thumb stud. Now, that's a pretty pointy blade not a strong flipper but you know it's a flipper you see why I say it's got CEO-esque vibes to it you know it's a little bigger than the CEO but you know it, it de they definitely took their design from it. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's not a bad looking blade. It feels like it's a uh, hollow ground. Sleek, sleek little blade. I mean, that's crazy how sleek that is. But the true test is, for $8, is it any good? Well, you know, I've always said that's in the eye of the beholder or the eye of the stoner, the person that's going to stone it to make sure it's uh, sharp. Okay, so that's a slow drag. Sharp all the way to the tip. Wow, that's that's very sharp. I can't believe how sharp that is for eight dollars. Man, you know, 
in the world of knives and and everything costing you know four five six hundred dollars for a really good knife it's nice to see that every now and then you could just get something that don't cost that much and cut like that i can't believe that that's just crazy well that just makes me wonder about the uh paracord test then what about y'all i hope so if you're new to my channel what i do with the paracord test is i cut paracord like like it says paracord test but i do two tests i do a push through and then i do a slice the reason i do it in that order is because the push through is um the harder to do it's it's going through on pure friction alone to where the slice is cutting and you know um, any knife should slice um, you know even a dull knife it'll cut through before i get to the cut test though i want to shout out uh byron kennedy he sent me some of his new stickers for splitting slices. If you're not subscribed to him, subscribe to him on YouTube. Splitting slices. He's a good guy. Uh, I'm actually going to give away one of these. I got to have two for my truck. And then, you know, that one's a cool one. Thank you, Byron. I appreciate it. I'm going to put these on my truck for sure. I'm going to give one of these away in a giveaway, if that's all right with you, Byron. I appreciate it, brother. You're, you're awesome, and I, I appreciate having you around. So let's get back to the paracord test. Now, let's see. Uh, uh, no, not gonna get a push through, but it, I mean, it did make a pretty good effort at it. I don't know if y'all heard my wrist doing that. Yeah, I don't know if y'all heard my wrist. That's crazy. All right, so get a new spot here and do a slice test. Slice is beautiful, like it's smooth. I don't know why I didn't do a push through, maybe because there's not enough mass and that little handle is a little hard for me to hold. Um, and yeah, that's probably why. I, I've, I've done the push through on knives that are way less sharp than this one. So I don't know why I couldn't get it, except that my wrist is giving me issues again. The shot didn't really take. Um, feels like I got rocks in my wrist sounds like it too no biggie but anyway if you stuck with me this long i appreciate it uh wednesday i'll release the winner of the 156 ot old timer Like normal, I'll, I'll let y'all know in the video Wednesday. I will link the video to this knife in the bottom left-hand corner here. And so, good luck winning the old-timer. I really like these. So, the giveaway has nothing to do with YouTube. It's my own, own affiliation. 
it's me showing appreciation to you all for for giving me support over all these this time i just want all of you to know i appreciate it and i hope all of you can win something that's the whole point of me doing this giveaway is so that everybody that watches my channel on a regular basis gets a chance to win all i ask from you is be subscribed to me leave a comment on the video that i'm linking in the at the end of the video not in the description at the end of the video and give a like you know i appreciate it you know and good luck to all of you and as i always say i hope your belly's full i hope your refrigerator's full for the love of everything i hope your gas tank's full and we'll see you next time